During our last meeting, I provided a general overview of our system response to the safety needs of our school communities. To date, we have held four town halls where we heard from parents, survey our principals, worked with student leaders to launch a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, equipped our PTSA with tools to support their local schools, and conducted several school safety walks. Later this month, we will host a roundtable meeting with five neighboring school systems to share ideas related to school safety. Based on these opportunities to listen and learn, we have developed a course of action to ensure ongoing supports for our school communities. Our next steps include grant-funded student safety assistance at the secondary level, enhanced community partnership opportunities, revamp procedures to effectively communicate outcomes related to bullying and harassment investigations, and a widespread information campaign to promote the use of the Maryland Center for School Safety reporting tip line. Next slide. So the FY23 budget priorities principal surveyed identifies safety assistance as the third most frequently requested support for the upcoming year. Additionally, best practices and national models support the use of safety and security assistance in schools in addition to SROs. Specifically, according to the schoolsafety.gov, a website created by the federal government to provide schools and districts with actionable recommendations to create safe and supportive learning environments, security personnel can be invaluable resources to a school safety team because of their specialized knowledge in recognizing building security concerns and mitigating violent situations. Their presence in schools allows them to build relationships with students that can prevent or mitigate school violence. BCPS will pilot the use of secondary school safety assistance in select schools with the goal of full implementation in the fall of 2022. In the fall, these grant funded positions will be equitably uh, allocated based on enrollment, receive summer professional development to include team BCPS expectations, school expectations, and participation in safe school training, and focus on maintaining a safe and supportive environment through a proactive presence. These positions are not replacing SROs, but will support school teams. Next slide. In preparation for a full fall launch, we are looking to respond to immediate needs as well as inform the system-wide rollout. We will pilot the effort in 19 secondary schools with our existing unarmed security vendors who have been trained, vetted, and approved by the board and who have worked with our school communities at sporting events and other large gatherings. Later this spring, we will partner with additional contractors to provide roving coverage to the remaining secondary schools and elementary school uh, communities. The goal is to work with school teams to create the climate and conditions for success. Our student safety assistants will collaborate with school administration and safety managers to provide a visible, supportive, and responsive presence in school buildings. School teams will provide a daily schedule that includes ongoing communication and is tailored to school needs. In this way, we will collect data on the effort and inform plans for the fall. Next slide. BCPS is open. Weeks ago, we shared that BCPS schools are open to volunteers and community partners. We appreciate and are looking forward to your help in creating an additional positive adult presence in schools. It makes a difference to our students to see parents, community organizations, and business leaders invested in their success. The Office of Family and Community Engagement, along with school leaders, will be working to increase the visibility of tools and resources to enhance existing partnerships and build new ones. Community partnerships help to strengthen and transform the learning experience for students. Stay tuned for information about how you can get involved as well as details for an upcoming partnership fair. So thank you for that support. Next slide. Thank you. As we finalize details for our comprehensive plan to ensure safe and supportive environments for students, we are enhancing elements of our communication protocols related to bullying, harassment, and intimidation. 
Now, Superintendent Roof 5580 requires us to respond, investigate, and communicate results of bullying, harassment, and intimidation reports to all families in a timely manner. To ensure that all members of Team BCPS are familiar with the requirements, we will provide a refresher training to all staff, develop an enhanced compliance monitoring tool for school leadership, widely share the process with students and families, and increase form accessibility so that, that it can be easily located and submitted electronically. Next slide. We will launch a widespread information campaign to promote the use of Maryland Center for School Safety reporting tip line. Many of our uh, student council, uh, junior council students are involved at the state level with the Maryland Center for School Safety and have spearheaded the efforts to reframe, reframe, see something, say something. The campaign will include posters that will be widely available in schools, on buses and websites on how to text a tip. While we continue to encourage students to report safe, safety information to school-based staff, this resource allows for 24-7 anonymous reporting to our state partners. All reported information is shared with BCPS and investigated through the Department of School Safety and Schools. Our updated school safety website will also include links to the Maryland Youth Crisis Line and other resources to support students. We value our partnership with our, our school resource officer program. We are working with the Baltimore County Police to coordinate how safety assistance will interact with the Baltimore County Police Department, including the four roving SROs recently proposed by the county government. We are appreciative of this, of this support from our county executive. Additional strategies will include staff training in de-escalation, a revised bus infraction reporting process to ensure timely responses, more social emotional supports to schools, including additional school counselors and social workers, student focused and student initiated opportunities to connect and create a sense of belonging through orientation, advisory, mentorships and transition programs and ongoing dialogue with neighboring school systems and our school communities for problem solving and feedback. Detailed information about our response will be shared in a community update tomorrow. I want to close by thanking everyone for your commitment to BCPS and being a part of this year-long conversation in support of our schools. This year has been filled with perpetual change, and your input and feedback have been invaluable. We're all on the same team, and I look forward to working together to implement and refine our practices to meet the needs of our students. And we will continue to update the board, our community and team BCPS, during these changing times. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.